Christians should defend themselves when faced with physical threats to their lives. Mm-hmm. Well, Ray, you know about that. <laughs> you got quite a story about that. Where's the question? Do you want to share that story or is that just, I, I, I didn't hear it. Uh, the question was, Christians should defend themselves when faced with a physical threat oh, to their yeah. life. Uh, 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 well, we, all right, I'll, I'll just answer it. Yes, you should. If I hadn't defended myself, uh, I'd be dead right now. Nowhere does it say it's okay for somebody to come uh, kill us, our person, or our family. Um, when the disciples, Jesus was leaving the disciples, he said, uh, buy a sword, sell this and go buy a sword. And I believe it was a literal sword. People come up with all kinds of things. Well, he was doing that to make sure he got arrested for having a, that's ridiculous. I think it was clearly because it was dangerous. There were bandits. Paul talked about um, uh, he was in the danger of robbers on the road all the time. So. Uh, there i i do believe you should fight uh uh it's different when you're being persecuted and there you're being martyred there there's nothing you can do about that but you know there's no reason at all that we shouldn't resist somebody trying to take our life i mean the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy so he'll use a wicked person to kill a christian of course, you should uh, defend yourself. Uh, I was thrown in the back of a car, drug by my hair across a major street in L.A. in the sight of like eight people that saw it. And they did nothing but laugh and yell, uh, howl something at them. So I was in trouble. I was being held in the back seat, and one guy was driving. So uh, when we got to a stoplight, I kicked the guy in the throat and and got the back door open. And luckily a couple cars back in the opposite lane, there was a police car. And he saw that my shirt was ripped halfway off. I was covered in blood and he jumped out of the car. Like immediately when he saw me and ran toward the car, the guys got out, ran off on foot. So uh, if I hadn't have fought, I mean, I don't know, I've been chained up somewhere in a room being sold or something. I don't know, but uh, I just knew I didn't want to find out. And I have no problem at all with uh, a Christian defending their lives or defending the lives of their loved ones. I, I don't know why people say that we're not supposed to do that. Jesus, when he, when he says, turn the other cheek, it's, it's a statement. It's like, okay, you want to hate me? You want it, to, it's, I'm just going to, okay, do this one too. Are you done? It's like, it doesn't solve anything. Violence is not a means of resolution. The, the point of it is that it, we, as brothers and sisters, certainly, we're, we're, we're supposed to accept it and pray for our enemies and that kind of thing. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean what people think, that you're just supposed to lay there and let somebody beat you and kill you. That is not right at all. And uh, I think people miss what's being said. Uh, Jesus said that he didn't come to bring peace, but a sword and believing in him divides. It divides families, uh, it divides nations. Um, and sometimes those things get violent. And so if somebody's going to come try to kill you, I, I don't know why people would think that they're not supposed to defend themselves, but this is commonly taught. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, um, I don't. I don't think there's anything in the Bible that tells us that we're not allowed to defend ourselves. Um, I know the idea, of course, turning the other cheek um, uh, is is taught, and and many people adhere to it, at least for a while. But if you turn your cheek, how many times you have to keep on turning it? Uh, I remember there was this, uh, a former professional boxer I saw interviewed who was a, a Christian minister and, and, he, and he, he said someone uh, attacked him or hit him and 
he, he turned the cheek. Uh, and, 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 but then after that, he says, that's it. He says, I turned my cheek. I don't have to keep on turning it. So he, he defended himself, you know, very well. Um, I, I don't think there's anything in the Bible that would tell us that we, we have to just lay down and let some, someone uh, beat us or kill us. Um, now, there are, there are those that uh, throughout history who have um, not only made no attempt to defend themselves, uh, but uh, actually just um, purposely put themselves in harm's way, knowing that they were going to be hurt for, for the cause of Christ. Um, there are a lot of martyrs. Some of them um, did uh, flee when they knew that uh, threats were coming and they would flee the city. And this is one of the things that caused Christianity to grow suddenly um, because per when persecution hit, those people who were being martyred, uh, it was so impressive that people were impressed with their faith, but others, they would, they had fled and, and, and Christianity spread because of it. Um, but, and there were people like Polycarp and others who purposely sought out to become a martyr. That was their greatest desire. Uh, um, but, you know, I don't think that this is, a, this, there's a rule for everybody. Uh, we all have to decide for ourselves how we're going to respond for me, I, I I would defend myself. I have in my life, and uh, I, I think it's it, it, there. Even was something that happened. I don't remember when the church as a whole came up with the concept, but the concept was a just war is war ever justified, and and the church. Maybe it was the Roman Church. I don't know. They were kind of the, the official church of the world for them for for a long, long time. They they were considered the church, but we don't really consider Roman Catholicism the real church, but the idea of uh, a just war was established and, and, and accepted as uh, there are some times where war, even war is justified. Um, all right, uh, Jordan, what do you say about this? Yeah, I would honestly say, first of all, the nations uh, or the nation of Israel was time to time again called into uh, war and that was God's decree. Um, also, a couple of other verses that come to mind um, in the section of Luke where Jesus is talking about a house being divided and cannot stand. Uh, the verse, so this is chapter 11, verse 21. It says, When a strong man is armed, keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. So basically, an armed man is able to defend his goods. And then also in Exodus 22, 3, if the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full restriction. If, if he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. So basically saying if a person um, murders somebody at fault, that individual is not to blame. So we can absolutely defend ourselves and we should expect to uh, defend ourselves. We should also defend those around us. I think a neglect to defend those around us would be something that God would actually frown upon since we are to be his warriors and rise up in those times of trials and tribulations to shine his light. Now, it's definitely weighing all your options. You know, if there are, it really depends on the severity of the situation. You know, if if it's just somebody, I'm, I guess this is more so for like high schoolers or something. And they're like, meet me outside. We can fight. You can walk away from that situation. If somebody's busting in your house and they're coming after you or your child. Yeah, absolutely. You have the right to defend yourself and God would not hold that against you. I would say that if you're ever put in a situation where you do have to defend yourself, um, I would definitely seek biblical help afterwards because I know that the enemy can kind of play with your mind after that, especially if you ever are in a situation where you have to defend yourself and it costs someone their life. Even though that person had full intent of harming you, you yourself 
um, were not in that same mind state. So the fact that you have harmed somebody, it can be a real toll on some people. So that's how I would answer it. That's a really good point, uh, Jordan, that if you had to defend yourself, David said, it's the Lord that maketh my hands to war. And that was literal. He had so much blood on his hands. He killed 200 Philistines in one battle. And uh, he was only, he said, bring me back 100 Philistine circumcision uh, uh, foreskins. And he brought back 200. And he just killed too many people to build the, the temple. So, um, yeah, those are good examples you brought up. And he's only defending his goods. The straw man is only defending his property. So, uh, you know, there are Jesus, when he said these things like, you know, hey, if they steal your co uh, coat, give me your other thing also, you know, your other garment also. That is to say, if somebody is so desperate to do that, just give it to them. Show, it's a perfect place to show someone God's grace and love instead of going after them, get them in trouble. Just say, you know what, you want to take it here. Take this too. You know, and tell them, you know, it's it's a good place of grace. Um, and turning the other cheek, it's never resolution. Like violence does not resolve. So if someone strikes you, it, it's, you're fighting someone. It, there's no resolution to an argument with with violence. So it's pointless. It's also to show grace and mercy. Um, but. Uh, Clearly, um, when you mentioned, you know, if God forbid you defend yourself and as a Christian, someone dies and you actually kill someone, that is when the devil will come through there and condemn you because he loves to accuse us day and night before the Lord, but also in our own minds and conscience. So um, I personally, I, I, I. I would have no problem. I mean, I would have no problem. Somebody tried to hurt my son. I would kill them and I would not feel like I was in the wrong at all. So uh, I think we have every right to do that. And I think it's a dangerous teaching. Uh, I think we should show grace, mercy and meekness uh, in every potential place we can. All for his glory. And I think God will lead us. I think he will lead us when the right time is to do that. But I also believe that we have a right to defend.